one. <laughs> Snowbirding, 2023. We've been waiting for this day for a while, too. Yeah, <laughs> and here. I'll tell you what, I mean, the weather hasn't been too bad in St. Louis, but this morning we woke up and it was like between 18 and 20 degrees outside. We were like, we are so ready to get out of Dodge. <laughs> Even the tires were cold because yes, they were beef bananas. TPMS was going off, warning about low tire pressure. Danger, Will Robinson! Danger! No, Will Robinson! Danger! So last year we spent our first snow snowboarding. I do that all the time. Our first snowbird winter in Florida. It was okay, and we had friends down there, and so you know we had we knew somebody. Um, this year, we're going to go to Arizona. Much longer drive. I think it only took three days from St. Louis to get to where we were staying in Florida. This year, it's a seven-day drive, plus in the middle, we're stopping in Albuquerque to visit Gary's mom. But before we go to Arizona, we have something special that we're going to. We're not going to tell you what it is right now. It's a surprise. But we are so excited. Totally. This is like a once in a lifetime experience. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. We have a new Bucky's. The yep. first one, I think, in Missouri. Look at that. Woohoo! We need gas, and it is very well priced. It's supposed to be three dollars and sixteen cents, which is the lowest we've seen in some time. Wow, that is the how many spots do they have? Chasing stars and holding you. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through. Christmas Eve was one that we would probably rather forget. <laughs> or, or, or maybe redo. Can, can we have a mulligan on that? <laughs> yeah, we need one. So we were in Albuquerque, halfway through our trip to the east uh, west coast, and we stopped to see Gary's mom, spent a full day there. Um, and the next morning, we were going, which was yesterday, we were going to get up, get moving, go and say goodbye to her, and then get on the road. We were going to the Petrified Forest gift shop to spend the night. We've stayed there before. So, everything that could go wrong, went wrong. We are halfway through our trip out west. So we're getting ready to leave for the next leg of the trip. And our brand new tire has flat. And I guess we're gonna have to see if it, uh, if it has something stuck in it. Cause it was fine the whole trip. And it sat here for 24 hours, 36 hours. And now all of a sudden it's only 26 pounds. It's a trick to get it back in place. I don't expect to be doing this on Christmas Eve. You're not going to believe this, but after they did the, the leak test, they pulled the stem out and it's a problem with the stem. And apparently the stem is, they're telling me the original stem, it should have been a new stem that came with the new tire. Oh my gosh. So that's where the leak originated. Wow. So what about the other tires? We got four new tires and a new spare. That's also a concern. Wow. Hopefully it's not going to be a problem. I made a list of everything that went wrong because it was just comical after a while. It was, you just had to laugh, otherwise you'd cry. <laughs> well, and like you and I were talking about, Mark and Trish on Keep Your Daydream talk about those days that you have the dips. 
It was definitely a dip. It was a dip. And just, Way down. And just to ride it out <laughs> yeah. until it gets better. Right. Sunset as you're going west, it just keeps having light. I'm always still kind of holding on to a little extra daylight. There they are. <laughs> what are we doing? Well, we've got some amazing news. Say hi, Rosie. And there's Rosie. Say hi. <laughs> okay. So photogenic. Yeah. Okay. So do you think we ought to share with everybody where we are and why we're here? Yeah, absolutely. We are at the Valencia Travel Village RV Park um, in the Santa Clarita area of California. It's just north of L.A. And we are here. Today is December 27th. And we are here to go to the Rose Parade. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't <you> tell. <laughs> How long have you been waiting for this? Oh my gosh, months. Yes. Yeah, it's one of those bucket list items. I mean, really, you're watching the parade ever since you were a kid. And now finally, I get to go. So, we've got an interview. We do. We're interviewing Jan and Wendy. They're a mother-daughter duo. They are from Escapees. This is an Escapees hop that we are joining in. And uh, yeah, lots of activities and the parade, of course. They're feeding us dinner several nights. And, and every, I think it's only like 50 people or so. So, um, but everything is group. everything is planned out for us. We don't have to lift a finger, right? Even the even the driving. <laughs> yes, big motor coach, and I don't know if we have one or two. I think I think it's only like fifty or so people, fifty or sixty people that they they cap it at. Um, so it's a nice intimate group. It is. So we better get going, otherwise we're going to be late. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. All right. We're here with Wendy and with Jan, and they're both representing the Escape East group. And we're here for the Rose Parade, a bucket list item that we've had for a number of years. And we're so thrilled that we could welcome these guys because they help facilitate this program for the Escape East group. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves quickly, and then we'll get into maybe a couple questions. Sure. Okay. I'm Wendy Stanwood and I am the director of uh, chapters and BOFs for the Escapees RV Club. And I'm Jan Chamberlain and I represent basically myself <laughs> because I'm retired. <laughs> um, and I get the pleasure of uh, joining Wendy as we travel around and do uh, and host several um, events that are pretty special for the Escapee RV Club. Well, for those people that don't know anything about Escapees and the hops, can we just kind of quickly introduce that? So Escapees is a family oriented. It started a long time ago with the Carr family. Um, the grandparents started it um, as a gathering for families that were traveling to make friends on the road. And it just grew from there. Um, it has really taken off. The Carr family still runs the program. Um, and we have branched out to do all these rallies, which we have three separate kind of uh, groups, basically, for the rallies. Um, there's the convergences, there is the hangouts, and there's also the hops program. Um, and they all do different things and are catered different ways. Um, and then we have chapters that are regional-based for people that are stationed, and then we have BOFs, which are 
birds of a feather and their interest groups for um, people that are interested in different things, whether it's running, it could be um, ph photography, anything like that. We've got a wider range out there. Yeah. Great. I'll be sure to put a link in, in our video for uh, escapees for those people that maybe want, might want some additional information. It's wonderful. Yes. So. The beauty of it really is um, when you travel around, it can be somewhat lonely as a, a traveler and a, um, someone who's on the road quite a lot. And when you meet up with these any of these rallies, um, you get to meet the most interesting people and make friends. And um, I think escapees in particular, because they're advocates for travelers and they make um, lots of uh, great um, affiliates with companies who help you with their insurance or tires or the, the basics beyond um, to help you get better deals or be safer on the road with lots of education. So it's, it's an amazing group and the people that you meet are honestly the, the best part of the whole club because you meet just wonderful people. That's the thing. And mom and I have over the years doing, you know, we've done a lot of convergences and hangouts and hops, you know, attend as attendees. And we have some very special friends that are lifelong friends that we've made in this club. I think that that, that really, for me, sums up escapees in itself. It, you, you meet people from every walk of life, from all these different professions. And what it does is it, it broadens your horizon because you learn things and you hear things and you experience stuff through other people that um, you would never have been exposed to or even realized that that was something that was out there. And, and that makes not only the world smaller, but certainly more comfortable and, um, and I think far more special. And, and I think that that sums up escapees more than anything. Let's talk about this Rose Parade hop. Sure. And uh, you all have been doing it now. This is a, your third year, right? Yes, yes it is. Okay. What has been your most favorite experience? I'll go first. Um, I, last year, um, there's, it's awfully hard to find a single experience because this is so special and iconic and, and a bucket list for almost everyone. Um, but last year when we went to the float decorating, which is one of the days that we do and all of the events that we provide during the week that we're together, um, there was one gentleman as we were being introduced to all of the floats in the warehouse and walking around the, the true pleasure that we get, or that I get for sure, is watching the experience of other people and their reactions. And this one gentleman, um, the expression of complete awe on his face was so special. I, it just made my day because um, just to be able to see how he was reacting to the being seeing the how much goes into these floats, the um, engineering and all of the just basic of the framework and everything that goes into those floats is so astonishing. And and his face, had I had a camera and captured it, I so wish I had. Um, it it was really a moment that I will always remember. So that was very special for me. I think the Rose Parade is very special just because, like Mom said, it is a bucket list for most people. You sit at home and you watch it on TV most of the time, and honestly, you don't take in from that perspective of what it takes to get this Rose Parade going down the road for all of us to see whether it is there in person or on the TV. Um, it does take a lot of manpower. It take, They start in February of every year. And they work all the way to the very last day, the day before the Rose Parade, to get those, those floats out there and on that street for us to see and present it. 
And it is a lot of work. And it's not just that, it's the, the horses and the bands. And it takes a lot for them to be chosen because they have to go through some competitions. And the, the presidents of the Rose Parade do go there and do <clears throat> watch them perform before they choose and they get voted on. And um, so that's a lot of work too for just those, cool, those you know, the groups to go. Also, the high schools that do perform, they have to raise their own money to be able to come and march down that street for five miles. And that's tough because sometimes it's a million dollars for them to be able to get here, depending on where they are, and march and get their instruments and stuff down that thing, down the, not the thing, the road, I'm sorry. Um, and it's just, I think it's remarkable to watch that and then to be able to see, like mom said, everybody's faces and relive it through <clears throat> you guys. The hops are very special because mm -hmm. it's um, kind of white glove and we make sure that we provide you with just about everything you need and we, we get you on very nice buses that take you to the events, especially in LA, good grief. And mom and I love the hops so much and, and actually the whole RV club that we put our personal touch on our own hops that we're hosting. So mom and I kind of, um, we, we make welcome cards for everybody and we put your tickets in there. Um, we make all of the decorations by hand um, that we put up for you guys um, on the tables. So this year mom made roses and we made lanterns and, and things like that. And then we like to put up a prop station for New Year's because we do celebrate New Year's together. Um, so we do like to do that as well. So we just kind of put our own little spin on it to help it make it fun for everybody. And we want everyone to have a joy and joyful time and, yep. and have just walk away and go, that was the best thing I've ever done. Um, and I know that there's other things in, the, in your lifetime that you're going to do and see and say the same thing, but we want this to be memorable for you guys as well. No matter what hop we're hosting, we want you to walk away and go, that was awesome. And because, like I said, we do put our heart and soul on it. <laughs> we really do. And I think we can see that. Oh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you very much. Parade morning, the, the day that we've all been waiting for. Yep. And so I'm just wondering, what is there anything particular that you all are looking for? Even though we've been to this event many times, even decorating a float like that, um, it doesn't get old. It is really so special. Yeah. Well, we definitely appreciate your time here this morning. We appreciate your efforts in helping to shepherd us to all these different events to make sure that we're safe <laughs> yeah, make it sure. and making a magical experience because it's it's been great. Well, thank you. Thank and you. We really appreciate that. We enjoy you being here. So thank you for coming. Yes, thank you. Okay. Well, that was a great interview. It really was. Yeah. They're, they're really great people. Yeah, we like them a lot. So do we want to tell everybody what we're going to be doing? Because it's going to be lots of fun. Oh my gosh. They keep us busy almost every day. <laughs> I think we have one free day. So we go to uh, float decorating and we are volunteering to help out with the floats. And it's hands on too. Yeah. So we'll see. And we're supposed to give a tour. Um, the lady that's in charge of this section in the past has given the tour to the hop attendees. Um, the day after that is Equest Fest. So all the horses that are in the parade will be there. Cowboys and cowgirls even. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the day after that is a band fest. So all those marching bands uh, that are in the parade, they have Friday afternoon, Saturday morning and Saturday afternoon sessions. And um, so you're not sure what bands you're going to see. Uh, but but you've got bands from all over the country as well as international bands. Yeah. So. Yeah. So we'll see what be, we end up seeing. Uh, the day after that is a free day. Then it's parade day. Parade day. Or should I say parade early morning. 
because we have to get up like at 3.30 in the morning to be on the bus and leave by 4.30. And, you know, I guess it's, I'm sure there's tons of traffic. I can't even imagine. Yeah. Uh, so that's the parade. I'm sure we'll come back after that and take a nice little nap. <laughs> um, and then the last day will be Float Fest. And that's where you can get up close and personal with all of the floats that were in the parade. And uh, get some great pictures, I hope. That would yeah. be awesome. Yeah. We're so excited yeah. to be here. It's going to be fun. Yeah. It's going to be an action-packed several days. And we hope you enjoy it as much as we do. So be sure to look for our follow-up videos. Yeah. See you soon. Bye for now.